This is the property that you are going to use a lot in simplifying radicals. Whenever there is an nth factor, then you can eliminate the radical symbol. So let's remember this property, we are going to use that a lot. The other property is called as the product property of radicals. When we have the nth root of a times b, we can separate this as two radicals, the nth root of a times the nth root of b. And when we do multiplication of radicals, we are going to use the converse of this property because you will be given two or more radicals and your task is to simplify that as one radical. Now for the proof of this, we can go back to exponents. The nth root of a times b is equal to a times b all raised to one over n. Then you have here a power of a product which we can write as two factors, a raised to one over n times b raised to one over n. And a raised to one over n is equivalent to the nth root of a, b raised to 1 over n can be written as the nth root of b. So that shows that if you have the nth root of a times b, that is equal to the nth root of a times the nth root of b, applying our laws of exponents. Let's remember that property as well. And let's proceed to the last property that we are going to use in this lesson, the quotient property of radicals. When you have the nth root of a over b, that is equal to the nth root of the numerator divided by the nth root of the denominator. We can show that this is true using, again, the exponential form of the number. 